Good evening, everybody, and welcome to a supplemental video on the uh, Bolt EV and GM Recall. I kind of wanted to go quickly into my range as you're looking here at my, my cluster here. I started out the day with 90%. I'm down to 50%, and I managed to cross just over 90 miles at 3.5 miles per kilowatt hour. You know, I mentioned in, in some of my other videos that I don't believe GM ever clarified which 70 miles of range remaining they mean, whether it's the minimum, the average, or the maximum. I typically, with my driving habits, I typically tend to venture in this area anyway, like the range, you know, estimator or the efficiency estimator over here is typically down here in the yellow somewhere. So I typically go by this number. So I'm going to plug it in here in a minute for a few hours. Uh, it's almost midnight, but I'm probably going to let it charge for about 90 minutes tonight yet. Uh, as I, you know, do my nighttime routine, I'm going to walk my dog and stuff like that yet tonight too. eat something. And hopefully by then, before I'm ready to go to bed, I'll unplug it and then resume charging tomorrow morning after I drop my son off at school. So I'm going to face you towards me now. I wanted to also point out that the last few videos that I've done on this car and the recall specifically have done astronomically well. Uh, in fact, they were all cumulative, cumulatively the highest viewed videos and also the highest commented videos in the history of this channel, which is about four years now. First of all, I want to say thank you to everybody who commented. Um, I really appreciate the conversations. I love hearing what others have to say. And it's really kind of an awesome experience for me to see what others have to say, especially those who are in the same boat with me with this car. Uh, kind of a side note, I noticed, especially today, I don't know why today, but out of all the days that these videos have been up today was kind of the day that I received a brunt of bashing and I don't know why I, I don't know how come today was that day that you know a lot of people there were there were quite a few that you know had very negative things to say um about the bolt about GM and whatnot and they were bashing my videos like me but like personally I guess it didn't make sense to me at first, but then I started thinking about it and I just realized that there's probably a certain fear um, going around. You know, there's a lot of people that are probably afraid of these cars right now. Like that video that I made about that parking lot incident that happened, uh, what, two weeks ago now or so? That was really an interesting eye-opening experience for me because that was an expression of fear the guy was literally right here next to me. And as I pulled in, you know, he was already parked, car was off and everything. As I pulled in and I turned my car off, I watch him start his car, pull out and drive a few spots away. And by the time I got out, he was walking, you know, past my car to the store. And, uh, you know, we had that interaction. But and he admitted that he did not feel safe around my car, and that's why he left. And I didn't bash him for that. I didn't say, oh, man, you're so silly, or that's dumb. What you did was stupid. No, I would never do that. Because just like everybody else, he's entitled to his opinion. And, you know, it's not like we got out, and then he said, oh, you need to move your car, or, oh, you're wrong for driving this car. You know... What he did was essentially he enabled a protection mechanism for himself and his property. And I was okay with that. And, you know, for me personally, I don't have a problem with others, you know, doing that. There was more so of just an experience, just me sharing the experience with you guys that um, kind of brought that forward. Now, fast forward to today, you know... I don't know why I've been called names. I don't know why there were messages coming th or comments coming through about how, you know, how dumb it is that 
I stand with GM and how dumb GM is or, or, you know, obviously with much more colorful words. Um, I don't get it. I, I, I purposely made these videos to engage in conversation and I guess this is conversation, but I just don't understand why it has to be so, hmm, what's the word? Just negative. The situation as a whole is very negative. We spent tens of thousands of dollars on these cars and some people are refusing to drive them. Um, you know, there, there are some comments where people are saying that they're just going to park them until GM has a solution. And if you can do that and you have another car to drive, then God bless you. Me, this is my car. This is my personal car. This is my business car. My wife has her car over here. I typically don't drive it. Um, it's her car for a reason. Um, but I just feel the need to clarify. You know, I don't make these videos to persuade people's opinions. I, I'm, that's not who I am. That's not what I do. If you want to take my statements as advice and guidance, then understand that you're not alone. I do I'm telling you this, so therefore I did it. I'm living in, I'm sitting in this car right now. I'm sharing, you know, my time with you in this car. Therefore, you know, I'm going to speak the truth. You know, I'm not telling you anything that I don't believe. I'm not telling you things that aren't true and so on and so forth. But when somebody calls me a name for whatever reason, because I opted to to stand by GM, stand by my Bull TV. That's that's middle school behavior. In fact, my eight year old doesn't even do that. So I just don't understand what would fuel that. And and I don't want to understand. In all honesty, if you're watching this video and you're getting ready to blow it up or or whatever, blow up the comments down below. You know, you're entitled to do that, and I'm not the kind of guy that's going to delete your comment or or whatever unless it goes against community guidelines. Uh, but I've had to remove some comments because they were just, you know, and you got, you got to understand that these are public-facing comments. These are public-facing videos. Now, none of my videos on the channel are enabled for, for kids, and there's a reason for that because... I don't think that any content that I made is targeted towards kids, you know, cars, computers, networks, systems engineering, all of that stuff. You know, I don't know any child that can do any of that. So therefore, I don't target that, that audience. But I feel like the behavior should be transparent, as if that audience were here. Because ultimately, you don't know who's going to grab their mom's phone or their dad's phone and watch a YouTube video. You know, they're going to see that. They're going to hear it. They're going to, you know, whatever. You get the point. I'm just trying to not get emotional over an emotional situation. I know a lot of people have put a lot of emotion and sweat and tears behind this recall. I can respect that. You know, I've made these videos to share my experiences, and I hope you can take it as such. But at the same time, if you're opting to stand with GM and you're opting to, you know, to maintain your <laughs> personal relationship with your with your Bolt EV or whatever other EV that you have, then know that you're not alone. Know that I'm right there with you. Um, this car, I bought this car the day before Thanksgiving of 2020, I bought it with uh, three miles on it. It had three miles on it when it came here from Detroit. And, or Detroit, was it? Yeah, I think it came from, from Detroit uh, via train to Los Angeles. It took 20 days to get here. And I waited patiently, 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 patiently while driving a diesel every day. And my kid every day would run up to me, Daddy, Daddy, is it is today your is your car coming today? Is it here yet? And I was telling, Bud, you gotta wait, Bud, you gotta wait. 
And when the day finally came, when I pulled into the driveway, I've never seen him light up the way he did when I brought my new Bolt EV home. And as far as I'm concerned, I will drive this car into the ground because for me, it's my very first brand new car. It's an experience for me. I went two thirds of my life driving, you know, rust buckets around that I bought for 1800 bucks here or there, you know, and this is the first car that I brought home that all three of us, my wife, my son, and I actually love, you know, we did road trips in this, even though we're not all keen on road trips. I love road trips personally, but it's really hard to do a road trip with an eight year old that can't sit still. Um, and it is what it is, but my point is that these videos are mine. I'm sharing my experiences with the world. Most of the world has been receptive. And for that, you guys are awesome. And then I also know to take the good with the bad. And to the people who feel the need to bash my channel, I'm sorry that you feel that way. Um, your comment will ultimately not affect me, even though I'm, I'm a little emotional about it. But it won't change anything. Like, you can tell me that I need to drive this car off a cliff because there's a very minute chance that there could be an issue um, that the, you know, that the car could catch fire. You know what? I'll cross that bridge when it gets there. In the meantime, I'm going to drive 100 miles a day. Okay? How does that sound? And on top of that, I'm going to plug it in right now. I'm going to go take my dog out. And in the meantime... I appreciate all of you, everybody, you know, thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking and subscribing. And as always, you know, I, I just, I can't say thank you enough. And, uh, until next time, thanks again.